Well, I got to tell you, Hannah, this is one that I'm really excited about. This week's edition of Foodie Friday brings us to the idyllic town of St. Michael's. Now, it's a vibrant spot with lots of tasty offerings to choose from. Yeah, it was my first visit to St. Michael's, and I loved it. The folks at Cora's Corner really made it something special. Let's check them out on this edition of Foodie Friday. Cora's Corner in St. Michael's is known for its flair for flavor. Co-owners Corinne and Elijah Artisan know a thing or two about that after living in the Caribbean for several years. We try to carry that over into Cora's Corner because there are so many good farmers and uh, fishermen and all the above in this area. We're pretty blessed when it comes to that. Chef Elijah estimates he's broken down close to a thousand whole fish in his career and this one is destined for a salmon poke bowl. And we get all that good meat off the bone. The salmon is marinated and squared away with freshly shaved zucchini noodles. Add in the cherry tomatoes, ginger, corn, and jalapeno slices. Drizzle it with wasabi sauce, sprinkle in the sesame seeds, and top it with microgreens and cilantro. There's also this really nice undercurrent of umami. Um, I think that is coming from the sauce that this is sitting in. Whatever ingredient you manage to get on your fork, you can play around with the combination. Of course, Chef Elijah isn't letting any of that flavorful fish go to waste. I'm going to go ahead and top it with some bacon. This salmon BLT is packed full of flavor. It mingles with the bacon in the pan before a short stay in the oven. The proteins are propped up by a lemon caper aioli, spicy tomato jam, arugula, tomato, and onion. The salmon and the brioche both have this subtle sweetness. I'm getting a nice bright pop from the lemon aioli. The salmon, again, you know, very fresh, very tender. It's just been kind of perfectly treated uh, in the pan and allowed to develop the flavors that are already in there. But then when you pair it with the bacon, it's like home run, man. You can't, you can't say no to bacon. Around the edges of the salmon, it has a kind of bacon-like crunchy edge to it, which just kind of adds to the whole character. Now let's visit the fry station where Chef Tim is busy over the bubbling baskets. On a busy day, he'll blanch about 300 pounds of potatoes. He's, he's, he's a fry machine. If you're from Delmarva, you know what a good beach fry is, and this is it right here. Also fried and similarly fantastic, the hot chicken Sammy. It's our double breaded fried brine. It's a pickle juice, buttermilk, hot sauce brine. We only use thighs, and then this is our Honey butter, sweet, spicy, salty, crunchy. Chef Pat on the other end of the line completes this beauty with house-made pickles, garlic aioli, lettuce, and tomato. The subtle heat really sets this handheld apart. I expect it'll build up a little bit as I, as I finish this sandwich, because this sandwich is going to be finished. But uh, you know, it starts sneaky and slow. It's juicy, it's flavorful, and then the breading on the outside of it is like so crunchy that I would call it classy almost. I'll tell you what, these guys here really know how to make a good chicken sandwich. And I'll tell you another thing, there are some dishes that we try on Foodie Friday that I like think about for weeks and weeks afterwards. That salmon BLT, I was thinking about it like all day today actually. <laughs> well, I'm going to be thinking about it tonight. Oh. I'd do anything to have one of them. That looked really good. They're delicious. Why didn't I think about putting salmon on a BLT, right? And again, <laughs> that was Chorus Corner in St. Michael. So if you go, be sure to tell them that you saw them on Foodie Friday. And if you have any suggestions for Hannah or Mike, send it to us at newsroom at 47abc.com.